so I just want to let you guys know that this video is kind of all over the place. Um, I was just talking to the camera and trying to get all of my points across, so if it's a little messy, that's why. Also, just a little disclaimer, I do talk about um, mental health and stuff, so if that is triggering you, I recommend not watching this video. And this video isn't to get like attention like, oh my god, my life is so hard or anything like that. It's just to share my story. I understand that other people have it harder than me and other people struggle more than I do. But I just wanted to share what I'm going through and what I've been through and my story and stuff like that. So I hope that doesn't bother some people. Anyways, I hope you watch the entire video because it's something that's really important to me. And it's me just kind of opening up about my life. Anyways, um, take it back to past Taya. Can you tell I just woke up from my nap? I hope not. My hair is a mess. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I've never really talked about on my channel. I have mentioned that my parents are divorced once or twice on my channel, but I've never really gone into detail on when they got divorced or um, how that impacted me. So I kind of wanted to make a video right now because there are going to be some changes in my life right now. Um, and with these changes, you guys would probably notice them. So I don't want to leave you hanging and wondering what is going on. Obviously, I'm not going to share my parents' details and stuff on how they feel and all of that stuff because they didn't sign up for this. So basically, I'm just going to be talking about my side and the whole thing impacted me because I feel like a lot of kids out there have divorced parents and they feel alone because YouTubers don't really talk about that. YouTubers don't talk about how YouTubers don't talk about how it's hard for your parents to get a divorce and how it impacts them. So kids are kind of like confused because they're feeling all these emotions and they think it's wrong because because they've heard of nobody else having these problems. So basically my parents told me and my younger brother that they were getting a divorce right before the end of sixth grade. It honestly came as a shock to both of us. I am a more emotional person. I am an overthinker. I think about literally every possibility of something where to go wrong or to go right or whatever the case may be. So obviously I'm going to take the entire thing completely different than he does. One of the reasons why we took it as a big surprise is we never saw our parents fighting and we never saw that stuff. We never saw that, you know, they didn't love each other anymore. We didn't see that. So we were kind of confused. but. For some reason, I kind of knew that they were. It was weird. I don't know. After that, me, my mom, and my brother moved out of the house. And basically, my dad had 25% custody. And my mom had 75 After living in that apartment for a while and getting used to the divorce situation and everything, um, things were going really well. Uh, my parents still kind of got along for us, for our sake. But then it didn't. My mom told us that we were moving to another town and we were moving schools and that was the worst. That was just like the worst thing that I could hear at that time because around that time my parents stopped getting along completely. They absolutely hated each other and, and I was not doing well mentally. Um, I was in seventh grade and I feel like everyone in middle school goes through some sort of like emo phase. I wasn't like emo but I'd wear like black all the time and I just felt sad and like not depressed all the time. I was just like upset and um because I was going through this um and I want to say I was feeling some sort of suicidal thoughts. Um, honestly, I don't remember fully what I was thinking when I was that young, but I did not want to be here anymore, and I started to see a counselor, but she was like a children's counselor, and she wasn't very good, so that didn't really help, but I felt like it just, it just, I don't know. 
The big reason why I didn't want to change schools is I've been going to school with the same people since first grade and so I finally like found my friends and I finally found a group of people that liked me and like wanted to be my friend and then and then suddenly I was I was gonna have no friends and I didn't want that because I was a very shy person I am introverted and I don't really talk to people. So once we moved to my new school, the same school that I go to now, things got a little better because I kind of tried to look at it a different way, look at it as I get a fresh start, people won't know who I am, and I'll be able to make new friends. But the thing is, is once I went to that school, like at first, Nobody really wanted to talk to me. Around this time, I made my YouTube channel and people started finding out about it and they didn't really make fun of me, but they were just kind of like, okay, this girl does YouTube, don't know what that's about. I guess they probably just thought I was gonna quit and um, here I am, senior year. <laughs> but I eventually made friends and stuff and and everything was kind of fine with my mental health and the custody stuff, everything was okay. My parents still didn't like each other. Um, I want to say when I turned 13 was the last <sighs> And I want to say when I turned 13 was the last time that I had both my parents together. God. Having my parents in the same room somewhat getting along, they don't even have to speak to each other, is something I think about a lot. Like, like my graduation, both sides of my family will be in two different sections. I will have to have two separate graduation parties. I even think about when I get married. Am I gonna have to have two separate weddings or what? I don't know. It's one of those things that my parents probably don't really think about but I definitely think about it a lot. Recently, because of everything that has been going on, I have been going through a tough time mentally, um, but that also probably has to do with a bunch of other things and I'm not ready to talk about, I don't think I'll be ready to talk about for a little bit because I don't even know my issue. The fact that I don't know what's wrong makes it worse, but now I want to talk about what's going on right now and the changes that are going to be happening now. The custody schedule, the custody has changed to 60-40, my dad being the 60% and my mom being the 40%. With that being said, my dad still lives in the same house, so we're getting a new house in the school zone that I live in now, but it's going to be a little bit. So you're gonna be seeing some weird background changes, some weird, like, the background and the vibe of my videos probably won't be the same as it is right now. Um, I'll film when I can while I'm here, but you might get some more car videos, you might get some videos at my dad's. Um, I'm not too sure. My room in there is not the best for filming, but I guess other than that, um... Be on the lookout for moving videos and room redecorating videos in November. I don't know. I guess that's a positive in this. I just want to let you guys know that if you guys are going, if your parents are going through a divorce or your parents are divorced and a lot of things are changing in your life or whatever the case may be, just know that your thoughts are normal and everything that you are experiencing is normal. There's so many hotlines and websites and things you can go to for help like that. So if you're going through something, reach out, whether it's your school counselor, which isn't probably the best. Reach out to someone, a trusted adult, and get help. I'm honestly don't really know what else to say because I end up saying the wrong things in this situation. So I'm probably just gonna cut it off. I hope I got my point across there. I hope this video isn't something that people want to unsubscribe for, but my next videos should be happy and positive and I try and stay positive as much as possible. I try to keep myself up there as much as possible, so don't worry, I should be fine. I don't know, I'm a mess. 
there's hopefully some good content coming soon. Be on the lookout, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.